battle cry, see the foe is nigh, raise the standard high for the Lord. Urge your armor on, stand firm everyone, rest your cause upon his holy word. Pastor Jason Cooley here with Brother Nate Marino. We are back again for another Sound the Battle Cry and Pope Watch. And uh, which is a ministry of Old Paz Baptist Church here, and uh, we've got something for you here from the Catholic about the Catholic Church again. This this old dirty Pope here, he's back at it again here, and the Catholic Church will now forgive your abortion. How about that? It goes in much deeper than that. This is an article from the New York Post, and it talks about this. This was uh, I think it was May eighth. Uh, recently here, and Pope Francis here, he's uh, he has been a man of change to the Roman Catholic Church. Actually, all he's doing is is uh, showing you exactly what the Roman Catholic Church has always stood for. He's just putting it on the outside now. Homosexuality, everything like that. They've been never against any of that. Uh, that was their that was their their open policy was to be against that, but their their secret policy was to promote it, uh, to be a part of it, uh, and uh, you know sexual perversion, all that happened in the uh, with the nuns and 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 the priest. It, let me let me tell you this: Do you actually believe that you could put a Catholic father, uh, so to speak, he calls himself a father, uh, and you could put a room full of nuns together, and you just throw them all into a Catholic church somewhere, or in a monastery somewhere, or a, a uh, Anything like that, working together with this, with these priests and these these popes and bishops and everything else, when they have sworn off marriage, and nothing's going to happen, perversion's not going to come up with all this. Come on, who are you fooling? Uh, especially without the spirit of God, these people have the spirit of Antichrist in them. They are right. of the world. They are wicked. They have that Babylonian yep. spirit. So, brother Nate, I want you to kick this off here with the Catholic Church will now forgive your abortion. All right. Pope Francis will send an army of globe-trotting priests, his missionaries of mercy. I want to do the globe-trotter I know, I whistle thought of so that. bad. We should have Aaron add in the globe-trotter whistle. You know, when they're just... Yeah, I'll have that, <laughs> him edit that in. So why is he sending out this army of globe-trotting priests, not these glo- missionaries not, of mercy? Yeah, not soldiers, not soldiers of the cross, of course, not those that have their armor on to battle sin. But who are they? A bunch of globe-trotting priests, his missionaries, missionaries of mercy. Missionaries of mercy to absolve women who've had abortions in the latest Vatican bid to catch up with modern times. So now hold on a second because I want to read the next paragraph, then we'll talk about sure. this point. The effort, which includes reaching out to doctors and nurses who performed abortions will commence in the Holy Year of Mercy, which Francis has declared will be celebrated between December 8, 2015 and 20, November 20th, 2016. Okay, so first of all, they're going to absolve women and doctors and nurses who've had abortions or who've performed abortions. How are they able to do that? Uh, they're not. They don't have any authority from God to do that, and you only only Jesus Christ can forgive sin. He's the only one that can forgive sin. The Bible says the blood of Christ cleanseth from all unrighteousness. The blood of Christ it says if we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us of all unrighteousness. Uh, that comes from the Lord. That comes from the blood of Jesus. That Forgiveness is only without the shedding of blood. There's no remission of sins. Sins cannot be remitted by a man on this earth. They cannot be forgiven by a man on this earth. They can only be forgiven by God. But this goes back to their wicked confessional uh, that they teach. Right, and giving the authority to a priest to absolve sins, it's blasphemy. Yes, it is. Uh, Remember what it says in the Bible, who can forgive sins but God only? Remember they said that about Jesus Christ? That's right. Because he was, you know, they say, well, you're claiming to be God because you're saying that you can forgive sins, right? Yep, that's right. Well, the Bible says, for there is one God and one mediator between God and men, the man Christ Jesus, 1 Timothy 2, 5. So only God can forgive sins. Not a man. You are not supposed to confess your sins to a priest, and a priest has no authority nor any other man to forgive you, to absolve you of any sin that you've committed. Okay? So we'll be clear on that, and that is blasphemy. It is blasphemy. To say such a thing. It's wicked. All right. Now, let's talk about this other thing, though. He's declared a holy year of mercy. This is kind of weird. Yeah, it is weird. I'm not so sure I understand fully what this is all about, but I think there's something weird about it. Yeah, well, there's always something weird with Rome. And it's so this Holy Year of Mercy starts December 8th of this year, 
ends next year, November 20th, which is right after the presidential election. I just find that kind of interesting. Yeah, that is kind of weird, isn't it? This holy year of mercy. Uh, Maybe it's we'll... an opportunity to encourage Christians to meet people's real needs with concrete assistance to experience a true pilgrimage on foot and send missionaries of mercy throughout the world to forgive even the most serious of sins, says Archbishop Rhino Vichelli. I'm reading a different article, by the way. Okay, that, that covers so that's it. Yeah. more about the year yeah, of mercy. Yeah, more about the year of mercy. So it yep. sounds like it's more than just abortion. Yeah, it's called a year-long extraordinary jubilee. Also will include several individual jubilee days, such as for Roman curia, catechists, teenagers, and prisoners, said the president of the Pontifical Council for the promoting of new evangelicalism. New evangeliz- evangelization? <laughs> there we yes. go. I'll get it out one way or another. The Office of Organizing Events for the Holy Year of Mercy. Yep. So it sounds like they're just running around forgiving people of any so heinous sin. Give every sin we can find. And do you hear anything about repentance? No, of course not. They don't believe in repentance. So here's the thing. We believe that you can be forgiven of heinous sins. Like Amen. Abo- you can be forgiven of abortion, Absolutely. but you need to repent first. Yeah, and to the Lord. This says to the Lord. repentance toward God. That's right. Not toward a man. In faith to the Lord Jesus Christ. That's right. That man doesn't represent Christ. He represents Antichrist. You need to repent. The Bible says, except you repent, you shall all likewise perish. And also... It's except, uh, repentance toward God, and then what? Faith toward, faith toward our, our Lord, Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. The basis of your forgiveness is the is the atonement. Remember that's that we right. talked about reconciliation. We talked about that. Yep, reconciliation. And, and so atonement. that's why the Bible says, "In whom we have redemption through, through His, his blood, blood, even the forgiveness, forgiveness of, of sins. sins." So it's through the blood of Christ that you receive right. forgiveness of sins, not through a man. That's right. It's wicked. This Archbishop Rhino. Can I call him Rhino? Is it Reno? I, th- I yeah, like Rhino. You can call him Rhino. Let's call him Rhino. Rhino Fisichella. That's right. He's the, it sounds like something you eat. Like It does. It sounds like a good Italian dish. It sounds dish. like Rhino with cheese on it or something. That does sound like that, yeah. Or like a pasta dish, Fisichella. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, Fisichella. <laughs> the head of the Pontifical Council for Promoting the New Evangelization. Evangelization. That sounds like a robot. <laughs> Announced the bold initiative <laughs> and said the church should always be in the absolution business the no business. god is yeah god is god forgives sins we preach that men should repent that's right and that they need to be forgiven and we are but ministers we don't do the forgiving no we are ministers of, of reconciliation we take the message but you gotta go to christ to get forgiveness that's right we can only deliver the message blasphemy the missionaries of mercy are priests sent out by the holy father as a tangible sign of how a priest should be a man of pardon close to everyone there it is again more blasphemy close to everyone no you know what i'm a preacher and I'm not close to everyone. There's people that I'll never be. And I can't forgive your sins either. Only nope. Jesus they're can. Not gonna, we're not going to be man of pardon. Now, if someone wrongs us and they repent, yeah, we'll forgive them. Absolutely. But we're not going to forgive them of sins that they've committed against God. Yeah, we can't. We can't. We can't pardon them of that. We have no power to do that. Vatican officials walked a tightrope on Thursday celebrating forgiveness but standing firm that abortion is still very against church teachings. Now, Here's this the, is their double speaking garbage well, here. This reminds me of Peter Ruckman because because That's uh, true. because Peter Ruckman I'll says, watch it now. Uh-oh. You can't uh-oh. be dropping names uh-oh. like that. Name drop. Eat, eat, eat. Name drop alert. Hit the button. I just dropped the name. That's right. I did. I drop a lot of them. If you listen to me preach, I always do. You know, I've heard that he's the greatest preacher since the Apostle Paul. Wow. Uh, you've heard a lot of funny stories in your life, haven't you? Anyway, um, here's here, here's the thing, okay? Uh, you gotta I read that, that on Facebook one time. Okay. I'm say. Yeah. <laughs> Now listen, let me say this, okay? All right, what did Ruckman my teach compar- about abortion? My, my comparison is that Ruckman says abortion is sin, but it's not murder. Now, why I want does you, he now, say now, that? Well, here's why I said that, okay? Now, why we, does he say that? Because uh, he says that life begins when the when breath comes into the when the when they take their first breath. Right. So that they're not really alive. Now he says they're alive like an animal or an organism in the womb. Yeah. But not like a human soul until they take a breath. Right. And. Which is totally not biblical because Adam was the only one that had the the breath uh, breathed into him and into into and into his nostrils the breath of life and, how, and man became and, a living soul. And if John the Baptist wasn't a living soul, how did he have the Holy Ghost from his mother's womb? And how did he leap in the in, in the, the womb in the womb? Yeah, it's just ridiculous is what it is. So it, it's anyway anyway. I don't have time to go down there. You can Google videos about Peter Ruckman and his abortion stance. Uh, or whatever, but so why did you say it reminded I, I you of that? I said that because as you read this article, you're going to hear the same speech. He's not going to call it murder; they're going to call it a sin. 
They're going to call right. it against the church. They're not going to call it murder what it is. Now listen to how the language has changed in Rome. You just listen. Uh, Vatican officials walked a tightrope. Okay, it says here, there are a number of clergy with the ability to pardon abortions already. It is not that rare, said Red Reverend Federico Lombardi. Now, before we move on, though, it Federico. says he says there's a number of clergy with the ability to pardon abortions already. So they're given special power to pardon abortions. It appears that already? they've been given the force, Luke, and that's that's, that's what that's it sounds kind, that's like. That's kind of what they're. It, it's not, they're it sounds, given special powers. Yeah, it sounds like they've been given like this magical. Uh, you got the with touch. the ability. They got uh, a special ability. They got a special ability. So it sounds like to me like charismatic impartation, uh, and that's what they're doing. We're imparting this power to you. We've imparted it. Uh, don't watch those stupid videos when they say. I, I they imparted uh, crowns, I imparted. Within, crowns, crowns within crowns within, within crowds. crowds. Radical elephants. Radical. Radical. Radical elephants. Radical. Radical. Remember that? Todd <laughs> Bentley. Todd Bentley saying he was going to... And he's he just shaking his head. Nate's headphones just fell off. He's going nuts over here. No, I just, he's just mimicking. And, and, the, and, the, and, that, uh, and then Todd, Todd Bentley Todd Bentley just starts blowing like a fish. And then he looks over and he says, kick that. Take your biker boot and kick that old lady in the face. Remember that? Remember that? That's right. That's right. So, so he sounds like he's imparting the same kind of power. He says, I'm the pontiff. I'm the, I'm, I'm the, the pontifus maximus. Not like gluteus maximus. Well, sort of like the same thing, actually. But anyway, um, he, he's going he's gonna, to he's gonna impart. He's going to impart the power to forgive the sin, sin of abortion. Okay, he's imparting that power, and uh, and that sounds like actually what that sounds like is witchcraft. Yep. That doesn't sound like That's Bible. Right. And if you if you hear the vo- my voice, and you say you're mocking them. You're right. I am. You picked up on that. Because I am just like Elijah mocked the five hundred, four hundred prophets that were up on uh, up on the uh, uh, Mount Carmel. Mount Carmel, thank you. Uh, th- th- why did he do that? Uh, because he said, "Well, maybe your God's sleeping. Maybe you should wake him up. Maybe he's taking a nappy poo. You ought to wake him up or something." Okay. Well, uh, I'd like to say them. one thing. In Nahum three four, it says this: "Because of the multitude of the whoredoms of the well favored harlot, the mistress of witchcrafts that selleth nations through her whoredoms and families through her witchcrafts." Sounds about like Rome, doesn't it? Yep. Now, church hardliners warn that stepped-up efforts to forgive those involved in abortions could cause confusion among Catholics. Regardless of this decision by the Pope, the church will continue to consider abortion a sin. Wait, where's the murder? Where's the murder talk? Why, why isn't it called murder? What happened? Nope. I hope it does not cause confusion. Italy's Cardinal Valesio de Palis. Palis told the Italian newspaper in La Nazione. Nazione. He is the Pope of Mercy. He is the Pope of Mercy and wants to show the benevolence of the church towards sinners. This does not cancel the sin of abortion. Yes, it did. It just said he did. Yep. He just said it can be forgiven. Francis has, has made stunningly progressive remarks in his two years leading world Catholics. He's preached for acceptance of gays and lesbians, embraced science, and even hinted that women will be taking a bigger role in the Vatican. Listen how stupid that is. Embrace science. Embrace science. Okay, like, because he, because he pushed evolution. He embraced science. Yeah, you know, because we're Did against evolution. Did he give evolution. Bill Nye, the science guy, a big yeah. hug? No, but here's the thing. Because we're against elu- evolution, we're just against science. We're not stupid. embracing science. How stupid is that? I it's, can't believe that people accept that argument against it's us. Kinda, you know what that kind of reminds me of? It's kind of like apologizing to Jesse Jackson if you've made a racial remark. Yeah. <laughs> I've embraced science. I've apologized. Who'd you apologize to? Well, I apologize to the black community for my racist comments, so I'm going to hug Jesse Jackson. <laughs> That's just stupid. Or like uh, Eminem hugging Elton John. <laughs> Eminem <laughs> hugging Elton John. I'm when sorry he was like, I, call, I'm sorry, called I called him derogatory names. I'm, I'm sorry I called him really inflammatory names. So so I'm going to go hug the leader of the gays. So now what did you do? Go hug Bill Nye the... What did you do? Go hug Bill Nye the science guy, Pope? I, I invited Bill Nye to the, to the, the science guy. To the, it's just ridiculous. I can't believe anybody takes these guys seriously. I know. Oh, it's so sad. And then, uh, so even hinted that women will be taking bigger roles in the Vatican. Oh, the women will be taking bigger roles in the Vatican. That'll be interesting. 
It's true that Pope Francis wants to see the life of the church center. Listen, Hold listen. On. Check it. Not so much on doctrine, uh oh, but on pastoral care. Okay. Oh, that's so lovely. Pastor, pastoral. Why don't they want to center care. on doctrine? Well, because doctrine divides. Doctrine is hardline stances. And what and, does the ecumenical movement want to do? Uh, they don't want any of that doctrinal doo doo. They want to unite. Remember that guy? Yeah. They want to unite. We don't. We want to. We don't want all those. We're, this music, like CCM. Go listen to my CCM sermons, by the way, that I just preached. The God of CCM is the Antichrist. Ouch! I know that just hit somebody really hard. But go listen to the sermon anyway. Um, but CCM is the same thing. It's the music of the Pope. It's the music of the New World Order. That's right. It's that music that bridges that. Gap. We're tearing down walls. They don't We're care about becoming, doctrine. We're all becoming one. We're tearing down walls. What's this guy have to do? You can't have doctrine if you want to unite the world. Yeah, you can't because under see, one you, system. See, because. The Muslims are looking for the twelfth imam. Imam, 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 and the you know who talks about that is the mufti. The mufti. That sounds like a rapper. The mufti, doesn't it? It really does. But and then, uh, and then we got the then the um, the Jewish Messiah, right? The and, Jewish Messiah. They're waiting for the Antichrist. And then we have for? the Buddha's uh, Buddha. Uh, are they waiting for a Buddha, or right? They're it? waiting for uh, what's his name? Um, oh, some oh. kind of. And, and what's figure. the guy? What's the other guy's name that they're? The Maitreya. Is, Maitreya. Buddha. Yep, Maitreya. Yep, Maitreya. Maitreya. Buddha. That's right. And they're then you got the Hindu something. Yep, they're waiting for one, and they're all waiting for their ascended masters. You know, the ascended other ones are. masters. That's right. right. They're all waiting for that one man that's going to come, that prophet that's going to come. Sananda Emmanuel. What was the other guy's name? There was one that I forgot his name back in the Indians. Uh, Indians, uh, Quetzalcoatl. Yep, Quetzalcoatl. Yep, they're waiting for him to cross the river, and uh, so I mean they're, they're waiting for all of these. Are waiting for what the Antichrist? Well, who's going to come on the scene? The man of sin is going to come on the scene, and he's going to unite them. And he does, he's not going to care for any of that doctrinal doo doo. Like uh, what was his name? Who said that Paul again? Paul Crouch. Paul Crouch, the Founder guy that died TBN. and went to hell. He was a sodomite. Founded TBN. Yeah, founded TBN big, with huge, huge Christian network. big huge TV. psyop. Um, <laughs> Don't be using dropping uh, acronyms like that. Yeah, that's I shouldn't do that. That's terrible, but it's true. Um, anyway, so th- so this Reverend Thomas Rausch, now a professor, you know, you know who this guy was of Catholic theology at where, where? Loyola Marymount University in Los Angeles. Loyola. Well, that's where all the night Who's of Malta. Loyola. Oh, that's Ignatius Loyola. Who is he? He was the Jesuit general, the first one. Ooh, the founder of the Jesuit order? Yeah, that was him. Why is he talking about, why is a Jesuit trained person talking about that we don't need to, that Pope Francis wants to see the life of the church center not so much on doctrine. Not on doctrine. Not on doctrine, but on pastoral care. And guess what? They want that for every other church out there, not just the Catholic church. That is the mantra, by the way. It's not just the Catholic church. It's everyone we meet on the street that claims to be a Christian. It's the mantra. They don't care about doctrine. They don't care about that doctrinal doo doo. They that's what they do. They they told us that when we were preaching the gospel and preaching the Bible to talk about the love. They told us you need to love. You, you guys are the love. fake Christians. We're the real ones out here while they're they smoking said to pot, me, getting drunk, and wanting to fight us. They were going the to Christians. see the Billy Joel cr- sh- uh, concert. Yeah, the Charismatics got mad at Brother Nate and I, and they said you just don't love. They said uh, we're the real reason people are going to hell. Yeah, because not because you, you know they love their sin and they they refuse to repent. It, I always wondered about that. I said that the other day. How could you kill a dead man twice? I mean, he's already dead. He's already dead in his so, sins. Yeah, you're, you're preaching you're to this guy. You're turning away from Christ. You're going to turn You mean farther away? Because he's already away. He don't love God. That's because God. these fake Christians don't think that people hate Christ. They just think, they don't think that people hate Christ. They just think, well, if you just present Christ in a cute little nice loving package, they'll That's just right. accept like a Hershey him. Kiss. They'll just accept him and just pray this prayer real quick. Well, guess what? Yeah, people will accept, accept your fake Jesus real quick That's and they right. will pray a prayer real quick but they won't be truly saved. That's right. They'll accept a false Christ. They're going to accept that Antichrist They'll real quick that too. false Christ into their heart and still love their sin and be That's dead right. in their sin. They're not going to have any problem accepting the Antichrist. And they're going to die and go to hell and they're going to bust hell wide open and when you stand before the judgment seat and you ran all those people uh, through prayers, you're going to have a ton of blood on your hands. That's right. That's right. Because you didn't tell them the truth. You didn't love enough to tell the truth. This is the doctrine the of true, Rome. The tr- those are the true haters. This is the Vatican II. The ones that II. don't care about doctrine. That's right. And this is it's Vat- so stupid. This is nothing more than Vatican II. You, you can't talk. You can't care about doctrine. How do you know anything that you believe? 
Because some man tells it's, them. It's ridiculous. Not the Bible. We're not going to... You don't know... Well, how do you know? You don't know about repentance, faith, regeneration. You don't know about salvation. You don't know about anything. You don't know about any doctrine. Those are all doctrines. That's right. It's ridiculous. That's right. We just want to come together in this universal thing called God. And and that's what they want to do. They want to come together in this universal... Just call him God, and we'll all come together. You mean the God that's on the dollar bill? That God? Same yeah, God. that God. Yep. That's the God that they're all clear, forming under. They're forming. What's happening? Well, they're they're building Babel. That's what's happening. The tower. They're they're just That's right. New they're age another, new age tower Babel. They're just another brick in the wall. That's right. That's right. They don't need no education. No, they don't. They're just another brick in the wall. And you can't have any pudding unless you eat your meat. <laughs> that's right. Because what are they? They're just another brick in the wall. That's, that's what right. they are. And that's what they're and that's what they're doing. They're forming this one world church right before your eyes. You're seeing it. Because see, in order for this to happen, the Pope has to knock down every wall of separation. And he's and, doing that now. And the last line in this article is the mission. That's right. Look at this. People are seeing a whole new side of the Catholic Church because of Francis leadership. Wow. He's transforming the image of this beast system, this mother of harlots. So you see the false the doctrine that's here. You see the changing of Rome. It's happening right before your eyes. You're seeing it uh, plain as day, what they're dropping down, all these doctrine. And they, by the way, let me help you with something. Institutions never go back the other way. Once they apostatize, I have never seen a church that is apostatized, uh, which Rome was always, always apostate, you know, um, apostate. apostate, yes. But the point is, is that even in fundamental Baptist churches and places like that, once they get the, the modern perversion Bible in, once they get the, the CCM rock and roll rap concert concept in, once they do that, they never come back. They always dig deeper and deeper until they're dead. And Ichabod can be written on the door. Anyway, so um, you know the, the Vatican. This is this is their this is Francis's goal. This is what he's doing. Um, he's uh, you know it further says in another article here on this uh, year of mercy or whatever. Uh, the Pope wants to show the Church his maternal sol- solicitude. It, it is to send our missionaries of mercy, especially selected priests. Who have granted this uh, pardon? It's called the Pope wrote in a he wrote an article called the Misericordiae Voltus, the face of mercy. That's what it is, and then he's calling it mercy. It's not mer- God doesn't cover your sin; He forgives it through the blood of Jesus Christ. But that's the only way somebody had to pay for your sin. Nobody just gets their sins forgiven without the blood being paid for it. Right. Wow. I mean, he just. This it's crazy anyway. Um, so the Vatican, this is their goal. This is what they're trying to do. Um, it's a concrete sign of the Pope's charitable love. He said, "Effective measures will be taken to meet real needs in the world that will express mercy through tangible assistance." They want to affect real needs, right? They got to get right there. So let's let's make this real clear. What is the goal of of this? Uh, what they're doing here? They're going around saying, you're going to have abortion and other sins absolved through the mercy of the church, and uh, this is going to be forgiven. There's no repentance, no salvation, no putting your faith in Christ, being born again. It's just going to be automatically forgiven. So what's that going to do? That's going to make people go ahead and keep on sinning. Because if they can be absolved, if they're just going to be absolved, then what's the point, right? Yep. So they have a God that they worship. They're, they're pushing a God that doesn't care about your sin. That's just going to forgive you automatically. And uh, is that the God, this God's love doesn't care about your sin. It loves you in your sins without repentance. That's right. That's what they're pushing. By the way, this is a papal bull that he wrote about this, this year of mercy. Yep. Okay, and, and we may do a separate... Uh, Pope Watch Maybe if we find out that. some more information. Yeah, I on found it. a little bit more, but it's interesting to me that the image created by Jesuit Father Marco Rupnik also shows one of Jesus' eyes merged with the man's to show how Christ sees with the eyes of Adam and Adam with the eyes of Christ. Strange. Oh, another Jesuit was involved. Well, that's not surprising, is it? Anyway, so this is this is uh, the the Pope's going to forgive abortion now, and they just call it a sin. They don't really deal with the fact that it's murder, and, uh, and it's just forgiven automatically. Yeah, they're forgiven automatically. They're changing 
They're changing, changing, changing things in their open policy, and that's how Rome's doing it. That's how they're going to bring in this usher in this this one world church and this uh, new world order that they're part of. So because yeah, the all the professing so called Protestant or evangelical denominations preach the same exact thing, they do. You're just automatically forgiven. That's right. We're all sinners, so doesn't we're all matter. sinners. So keep sin, sin, sinning. We're all sinners. It's just, sin, about, sin, it's sin. just about love and grace. You're preaching hate. You can't tell people they need to repent and that they're wicked sinners. On and the, the way Pope to has hell. heard their cries and he's listening, and that's the exact doctrine he's going to push. Yep. Because he's bringing billions he's of people coming together. To, he's coming to scratch their ears. That's right. You know, Leonard Ravenhill said this. He said, This world is full of itching ears, and God has not commissioned me to scratch them. Amen. God has not. That's right. That. All right. For Brother Nate Marino, this is Pastor Jason Cooley for Pope Watch.